my nicole and i'm back with another video so today i am doing another curly me hair review please don't mind the background i know i'm usually up against the wall but today i switched it up just a little bit but anyway um before i get into the video go check out excess i got on a pink hoodie right now it's super cute let me stand up yeah i'm gonna put everything on the screen somewhere make sure you go follow and cop some stuff so let's get into the video all right so y'all already know i got the box right here I'm about to open it up and here's my hair so they also sent me some lashes i didn't know these are cute that's what they sent me and that's all that comes in the box is the hair and the lashes so now i'm gonna check out the hair so i got a bob and I'm probably going to end up cutting it a little shorter. I forgot how long it is. Well, it's 10 inches. So, we're going to see how, how long. But, okay. So, it's a 9A bob Brazilian straight 10 inch. And it's a 13 by 4 wig. Okay. So, um, for this one, I think I'm going to do a middle part. So, let's take it out. It seems pretty short. Like, how I like it. Or how I want it. Because I don't want it to go past my shoulders, you know. Alright. This is what it's looking like. Ooh. This is what it's looking like. It seems pretty short. Okay. It always has this little curl at the end. But, um. That's what the lace is looking like. I don't think. Well, yeah. It looks like it's like. Yeah, it, I know it's pre-plucked. Because everybody be pre-plucked on their wigs. But. It's already in the middle part. So first thing I'm gonna do is prepare my hair. So I'm just gonna put this back in the bag and I'm going to start to braid up my hair. So as you can see, my hair is straight. I have my hair straight for like a week. But to be honest, I don't, well not even a week. Literally, I have my hair straight for a couple days. Yeah, I usually don't have my hair out and I usually have on wigs because I love changing it up, like switching it up. So like I'll have on a wig for like no more than a week no more than a week and then on top of that like y'all might see me a lot like throwing on a wig that's when i'll just throw on a wig but like other than that no i always love just switching it up so time for this bob but anyway let me start braiding my hair okay guys so i finished my braids and as you can see i did not try at all i have four braids in my head right now and yeah look at that it looks literally retarded but i don't really care because yeah i don't really care so i'm going to oh like it's like so bad it's so loose i don't care um next i'm about to go ahead and put on the wig cap so you can always get a wig cap at the beauty supply store not all of them look like this. Not all of them have that packaging. These are the ones I like, but like, not all of them have to look like this. And there's a lot, like, people sometimes use, like, actual, like, stockings and stuff. So, you could do that. Oh, this will have a little thingy at the bottom, whatever. Anyway, so this comes with two. And this is already tinted a little bit. Which, wait, is it? Wait, yeah. Where is this the regular color? I don't know. All right, whatever. And just put this on the stocking cap on i mean the white cat put it over my ear oh okay not my freaking eyebrow i'm just gonna go in like this or i'm actually gonna go in with the comb and if you're wondering why i'm looking over there it's because the mirror is over there but um i forgot to tell y'all to ooh, push your edges back so um you should do that before you put on the wig cap. So now I'm going to glue the wig cap down with this got to be glued spray. Alright, so I'm about to go ahead and go along like basically my hairline. Boom. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is go ahead and dry it with this. And I'm going to come back when it's completely dry. Okay, so <clears throat> now that it's um completely dried, 
as you can see i'm gonna go ahead and cover it with some of my foundation so i got the foundation some on my hand and put some on the brush so that it's not too Okay, so now that I finished with that, I'm going to go ahead and cut. So I like to cut up the middle first. Like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest. Okay, so now that I've finished um, cutting the wig cap, I'm just going to first show you guys what it looks like when you haven't bleached the knots, haven't plucked in nothing, what it looks like for one. Basically, why you need to bleach the knots and pluck it. Big. This cap seems so big. Okay, I like the length. Oh. What? Uh, <laughs> but I like mine to look a little bit more natural, so I wouldn't preferably do it like this. But. Um, plus, like, oh, jeez, like Michael J. I'm gonna pluck it and then bleach the knots. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna show, like tell you guys how I pluck it, and I'm gonna pluck it, and I'm gonna come back. Okay, so how I pluck it is first you need some water. First you need water, and you also need tweezers. You should also get a comb and some some clips. Okay, so basically, you know, all you gotta do is wet the hair, like the hairline where you about to pluck it, and pluck it backward oh, i pluck it like away i pluck it down i don't know i always switch it up just whatever's working don't pluck it too hard but don't be afraid to pluck it oh found the tweezers but yeah don't pluck it too hard so you're ripping the lace and stuff but make sure that you're plucking it hard enough it's yeah when you do it you're gonna understand what i'm saying but i'll come back when the lace is plucked okay guys so i finished plucking the wig and here it is nicely plucked so now i'm ow so now i'm about to bleach the knots so that hurt basically i got my bowl here my uh thingy majiggy whatever this is the uh powder stuff to be honest this is what it looks like okay this is what it's called all of that take a screenshot whatever because i don't really know my mom be getting it for me and this is the the developer, if it would. All right, that's the developer. So, yeah, basically, I'm just going to open it up. There is um, a little blue thing in here. Oh, it's like, that's, put it in here. That as I need, pour in as much as I need. So I'm just going to pour you know it's too thick enough so that it'll get on the knots you know what i'm saying actually bleach them so but y'all see how it's like it didn't even move for real like it's enough like it's um it'll do it'll get the job done so basically all you gotta do is put it on the inside of the cap i mean of the wig and let it sit i let it sit for like 15 minutes or I, I just keep checking it i don't really time it but i just keep checking it so that's what i'm about to do and i'm gonna come back when it's finished okay so the knots are pretty much bleached like some of them aren't i kind of got lazy and just was like all right i gotta yeah so like and plus the way i applied it i accidentally made it like i don't know you gotta apply it soft and i like like yeah so but it should be fine so basically i'm just gonna put it on and do the part that i want and like try to dry it in that part because i'm also going to be doing the little uh small bleached parts right here so i'm just gonna try to put it in the part and separate the hair so i can get ready for that so the knots are pretty much bleached like some of them aren't i kind of got lazy and just was like all right i gotta yeah so like and plus the way i applied it i accidentally made it like I don't know. You got to apply it soft. And I like, like, yeah, so, but it should be fine. So basically I'm just going to put it on and do the part that I want and like try to dry it in that part. Cause I'm also going to be doing the little, uh, 
small bleached parts right here so i'm just gonna try to put it in the part and separate the hair so i can get ready for that okay so now i have my two pieces out and i'm actually really scared to do this because i don't want to overdo it or anything so i'm just gonna do these small pieces i hope this is like the right area like i hope this is i hope i'm doing this right okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on there before i change my mind and be like oh my god i don't want to do it no more gloves yeah whatever pants and all that all right okay guys so i finished dyeing the pieces and honestly it's very very skinny like skinnier than i thought but i think i'm just gonna keep it like that um i think i'm just gonna keep it like that because i don't want to overdo it so now i'm gonna get into gluing it down so to be honest i don't know if i'm gonna go the easy way out and do got to be glue spray and just kind of spray it like that or if i'm gonna go in with bowl hole um so I'm about to figure out what I'm doing, then I'm coming back. Okay, so I decided that I'm just going to go ahead and go on what got to be glued. So how I do it is I, um, actually, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to use this first so that I can make sure that it's um, laid how I want it to. Then I'm going to go ahead and dry it. Then I'm going to show you guys how I use the got to be glued. Oh, by the way, this is Lotta Body, and I use it yeah for my wigs and stuff so i'll be back okay so i've laid everything back how i want it basically just out the way because the way i do this is i spray it on top um and like you know when you're when everything's out of control it won't really work out right so with that being said now i'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the got to be glue so i'm just gonna make sure that this is actually i'm just gonna do this part first then I'm going to move on to right here, and then I'm going to move on to right here. So I'm just going to show you guys this part so you guys get a feel of what I'm doing. So, hold on. I'm sorry. Can't see over here, man. Okay. So I'm just going to spray where I want it. Ooh. Okay. I'm just going to spray where I want it, and then dry. Kind of got to comb it. Okay. So right now, it's like kind of dry. Like, this is like on high so yeah okay so now it's dry as you can see so i'm just gonna go ahead and repeat those steps around and then i'm probably gonna spray it one more time and then i'll come back once this is on my head this is kind of just on a like a stretchy band i got it from the uh beauty supply store and it said that it's called like a a wig something it is something it came like in like a black container sorry i forgot what it's called but i'm basically just gonna stretch it in put it around the top of the lace okay so i cut the lace and uh now i'm i plugged up the flat iron so i'm getting ready to flat iron the hair so what i use when i flat iron hair is this chi silk fusion chi silk fusion and i also use this liquid shine stuff as you can see it's literally only a little bit left just going to be spy store and you'll find it so basically you know I get really lazy when it comes to straightening hair. I kind of just take big sections and go as I go. But, you know, put a little bit of this, spray a little bit of that, and you'll be good. So I'm going to come back when my hair is how I want. Okay, so I finished. And as you can see, I cut the lace. And, um, yeah. Oh, I also straightened it some. But I'm going to fix up a little bit. Okay, so... For one, wait. Okay, so first, the hair is really soft. Let me just stiff wear. And, oh, this how it's looking. I think what really what I need to do is like make sure that it's laying how I want. And like, so, now it's better. Okay, so 
so hmm. now with these flyaways i think i'm just gonna try to lay it down with this so my by the way when i use this like especially like on the hair i uh spray it in my hand first rub it and then put it on there and this is basically just to shine it it's not really like a not really to like slick this stuff down but um so basically i think that's pretty much it for this for this video let me try get it how i want all right so i ended up not doing edges on either side as you can see what in the world is going on okay yeah as you can see i didn't do edges on either side which is fine with me because I like this look. And I probably, I'm probably going to do edges later. But right now, I just didn't feel like cutting the edges and trying to fix it up. So, without further ado, you know, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Repost this, whatever, whatever. And, yeah, if you like this look, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Check out Curly Me in the description below. Bye.